everyone, Abby here at Purple Cottage Crafts and welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Um, I do have my space heater on, so hopefully it's not too loud. It's a little chilly here. It's in the evening time. It's about 9.30. And what I want to do is I'm taking a break in between uh, a project with my cabinet that I'm working on and just kind of doing some you know light sorting things like that and I wanted to work on something that um, I've been wanting to do for probably a few months now and um, it's mostly based off of a video and let me backtrack this this video is going to be inspired by a watercolor tutorial a simple exercise for beginners that I saw on CC's YouTube channel, which is CC uh, Creation Creation CC. Sorry, I couldn't spit it out there. So many sounds in there. I will, of course have all of her information linked in the description box below. And she is a phenomenal, phenomenal watercolor artist, artist in general. And I fell in love with her channel a few years ago. And she just makes me feel like I can create something using watercolor and I've dabbled in it before you know obviously when you're a kid you do painting blah 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 and um you know, I did some watercoloring probably two three years ago sorry about that my camera just like shut off I don't know what that was about um what was I saying oh so I thought that this would be something I could do with holding the brush in my hand because it's not like I have to you know um do a lot of pressure or you know trying to cut and stitch and things like that now I am going to tell you that the way I hold a pencil or a pen anything that you use to write with is um completely is like not what the norm is so to speak they used to put the little triangles on my pencils when I was in grade school and the teacher would walk away and I'd take it off I don't like it I I it was uncomfortable for me my writing is legible I can I can write <laughs> I have no problem with that so I don't think it really matters the way you hold your pencil in my opinion because it's I've done it all my life and you know and um I it, my writing is legible but I say that because the way um because I hold this is how I hold my pens and pencils when I'm writing just like this I use my whole hand it goes on like that so I it's not comfortable right now because of the, my finger still recovering but I know with with watercoloring you know I can I can take the brush and just be real light so I think it's going to be a good exercise for me I do have another hand therapy appointment next week um with the whole situation that's going on right now um I'm only going out for just a little disclaimer as to why I'm still going out of the house just for my doctor's appointments in hand therapy and I still have to go to hand therapy because I'm um, post-op other everybody else has been canceled but so it's you know something my doctor wants me to still continue doing as long as things are you know still okay as you know, in our area so anyway so what I have here are just a few of the watercolor palettes that I have and mine are definitely not going to be as fancy as what CC uses because I'm not like a watercolor artist like where I do paintings and things like that so she has some different brands that she uses versus what I have not implying these are not good brands that's not what I mean I should backtrack that I just meant you don't have to have the same supplies as she has and she says that in her videos too you don't have to feel like you have to run out and get the same brushes as her the same you know watercolors and supplies and that makes it really affordable and um, a little more doable I guess you could say for those of us who don't have a ton of watercolor supplies or brushes or whatever so I just have a little assortment of just um, just some watercolor color brushes here and then I have some of the you know the water brushes I have some of those already loaded and ready to go just got some water I was testing some colors because my pans got um, knocked out of because um, I haven't messed with these really since we I started unpacking my room and some of the pans in here were knocked around so I had to test them because I couldn't even though I did a card I couldn't tell which one was which on some of the grains anyway so I have this one here from Jane Davenport and uh, I will link these pans below. I got most of these from Amazon, I'm pretty sure. But this is the Glitzy palette from uh, Jane Davenport. It's really pretty colors. I've played with that one a little bit. Just, you know, when I first got it, I'm just kind of messing around. And then this one is from Prima. It's the Vintage Pastels. And there's some very pretty colors in here. I need to find myself a palette that has some... Um, this only has one... Well, two, I guess. The Dusky Mauve can kind of count towards my purplies. But they have Soft Lilac and Dusty Mauve. And I, I, it's like I've done a ton of research looking for a specific, you know, pur uh, purples heavy watercolor palette. But I'd like to find one. I know I can make my own, too. Um, and this one here is... I 
I don't know how to pronounce that, so I don't want to say it, but Starry Colors. This I know for sure I got from Amazon. Just some golds and stuff in there. And then um, a pen because she does have a doodle pen. So I have um, this Uniball, Signo Uniball in black, and I will link that below. I got this at Joanne specifically, but I'll link it below for sure because I know you can buy these things online. Um, grabbing a few more. I have that's black and this one's in white I have gold pins and some other pins like that but I don't know where they are I think they're still packed so I just have these out for now so when I grab the golds because Cece does use a gold uh, like a gold mark a pen in hers and I thought it'd be kind of fun to maybe replicate that which is doing some line work and some dots or something so that's kind of where I'm at and as far as this palette or palette as this book this is watercolor paper I got this from Amazon it's super cheap of course I had to get purple they have tons of colors and I just like the size that it's nice and small you know this will be good for me to do some you know some small exercises in here and get a little bit braver and start doing some florals and different things like that so I got this book here and again it'll be linked below so I think I'm going to kind of get myself set up I don't know exactly which palettes I'm going to work with probably all three I don't know definitely the golds like I um because I want to definitely incorporate the gold that she did but I'm going to go ahead and kind of get myself set up a little bit and um, I don't really think I'm going to talk. I think I'm just going to maybe put some music to this. I might a little bit do a little bit of chatty chat, but um, this is really more for like a therapeutic session for me. Um, I have lots of facial pain and um, of course my fingers kind of throb. That's nothing compared to my facial pain, of course. And so when I get to where it's uh, a little bit more difficult for me to speak, I mean, it doesn't stop me from speaking, but it, it gets more painful to speak that's when you'll usually see just like like some process portions of videos for me that's part of the reason why I do that um, but also just to listen to some of my music maybe throw in an old movie or something and to sit here and just basically just have fun doodling so I may not talk I don't know we might might get a, a lucky break and not and have a non-talking video from Abby except for the intro <laughs> I don't know we'll see so I'm gonna go ahead and get myself set up and and either way you'll see me back here in your time in just a second so I'll see you in just a moment
Okay, so it wasn't so as uncomfortable when I first started, but when I kind of started getting uh, about halfway done, it's my hand is starting to kind of cramp my hand a little bit, so it's a little bit uncomfortable. But I'm gonna push myself a little bit because you know I gotta get back into you know used to using my hand like that. But there are the little swirls there, and I forgot to mention at the beginning, but you'll be able to tell by the picture that. Um, you know, she did the exercise, she's done exercises in different shapes, circles, you know, little squares, that kind of thing. And I thought a circle probably, well, sort of circles, <laughs> would be the easiest thing for me to just to kind of start with. So I have those on there. A few of these colors I just kind of mixed from the palette. And I didn't plan on just solely working from the um, Prima one, but I just did. And so I think what I'll do is... Um, maybe do another page where maybe like the different shapes using the, the Jane Davenport just to kind of play around and mix with some different colors. So I'm going to let this kind of dry for a few minutes. Um, I might take the heat tool to it. We'll see how impatient I get. And I'll come back and we'll um, do some doodling with some of the gold paint, some of the other paints, um, maybe with some of the black that's in the palette itself. And of course using the um, couple of the different Signo Uniball pens. Oops that I um that I have so there you go so we'll see you in just a little bit
right, so I'm going to go ahead and start a second page. Here's the first one. It's just a little bit damp in a couple of the spots, but um, those are just some circles <laughs> that I made. And then the next page, um, I think I want to, you know, I could still, I could do like, you know, rounded, rounded, you know, um, you know, like rounded corners or like, you know, squares or something like that. I'm not sure what shape. It doesn't really matter. But I also kind of want to play with some of these other ones I have. Um, I got these from, I think these are some of Steve's old stuff because he's a graphic, his degree, his first, first degree when it's a college was graphic design. And he was going through a lot of his supplies and stuff a while back and um, he kept a lot and I'm glad he did because I get to play with them. So I have a couple Daniel Smith paints which I know are super super mega pricey and then there's some Reeves ones in here. So the Daniel Smith ones I have are um, Amethyst, Genuine, and Rose of Ultrasound. Wait that's not right Ultrasound. Good grief Abby. Ultramarines. <laughs> I said Ultrasound. Ah. And then the Reeves ones I have are Rose Red, Olive Green, Red Ochre, and Deep Yellow. So I might play with the purpley ones on here a little bit. And then I do want to kind of mess with the golds. I might just do maybe a page of the different golds mixed together, diluted, some stronger. And then just some doing some different strengths of, of the few of the colors on this uh, the second page here. And then um, just kind of play. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of do that and we'll go from there. So I will see you soon.
bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Sitting here, I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. Meant to be in the great outdoors forever. 
I think for the video, purpose of this video, I'm done with doing some of the creative exercises with watercoloring and doodling. Sorry for the shadow. I'm trying to figure out how to fix that issue. But anyway, so yeah, I think I did four pages, three or four pages. And let's see, one, two, three, five. But one page I didn't doodle on, and I'll get to that one in a moment. So this is the very first page. I left a couple blank in the beginning. But this is the first one. You can see all the really pretty shimmery with that gold and this and the white the different golds in here and I'll show you the pans up close in a moment too but just doing some creative play I mean are these great no but you know I'm not like a professional doodler <laughs> I just was just messing around and you know like CC encourages in her videos it's just creative play it's just exercising it's just this is almost has to me is like my slow stitching this will not replace my slow stitching trust me that is like my love but in the same concept of where you're just you know I put on some relaxing music and I let the camera go and I was uh, the video camera and I just sat here and just painted and just did some doodling and I did refer to um, CC's Instagram which I will, of course, link all of her info below because she's got photos of the different, you know, doodles and things that she's done just to kind of get some ideas because I don't, I'm not like a natural doodler with, um, like, you know, flowers and I mean, cause I, I, I don't know how to draw. I don't, I don't think I can doodle very well. So I was looking for her for inspiration and stuff. So this entire video is a thousand percent inspired by CC. So, but there's that page. And this is the next one and this one is one of my favorite because it's purples so this is mostly the daniel smith two watercolors i have i did use a mix i think of one from the prima as well but this is just fun you can see all the shimmeries in there just messing around and then this one i did wow prepare your eyes this is definitely gold on this page and those are all the different gold tone paints there just a little color swatch and then I went back on this one I wanted to see if I could build it up I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up but you can kind of see that oh it's hard not having my index finger uh, normal yet but like there right there it starts I just went back in to see if you could double it up to like you know put another layer and it did it worked pretty good I didn't know if you could do that that's what I was testing I'm sure it's you know many others who are way more experienced than I am knew that or would know to give that a try. I'm going to skip the next page. We'll get that one in a moment. Oh, this one is my favorite. My favorite because this is all Daniel Smith paints um, with the exception of uh, like well I put white on this one because I thought that looked kind of cool but like this lighter I had a mix left from I think it was a combination of the pastel and the Daniel Smith that I mixed on, on this palette. So I just kind of finished that up. So I just wanted to see what they look like together. And I think it looks pretty cool. So I have probably the world's biggest handwriting, <laughs> meaning I cannot write small. So I was trying to mimic, I mean, I think it looks good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not like being negative on myself. It's just, I wanted these to be smaller, but I just, I just can't write small. Um, the sample I used from CC's page, she actually used letters, but I thought I could write numbers smaller than letters. And, um, I just didn't get them as small as I wanted to. Here we go. Uh, let's see if it's got a bigger picture here. Let's see if I can find it better. Like, see, she did letters really tiny which I think is such a cool look I just will have to practice get writing smaller and this isn't the finest tip um, pen to use either but that's just what I have that I know that writes on top of paints and other mediums and stuff so and Angie gave this to me so it means a lot to me one of the many beautiful things she's given me but I think this page is really cool I like it I think it's pretty I love all the purples I almost didn't want to doodle on it but that was part of the exercise was to doodle and kind of stretch yourself a little bit and whatever and um you know I, I so yeah this is definitely inspired from CC's page if you can um if you go check out her Instagram all right so the one page I didn't doodle on which I probably will just to stretch myself is this one now disclaimer 
I am in no way, shape, or form being negative about the palette from Jane Davenport. Da excuse me, Jane Davenport. I think it's, I love the tin because it's teal. I think it's very pretty colors and stuff when I swatched them. And um, she's a, she does a lot of bright, fun, vibrant colors. And that's not my personal style, but I bought this because I want to stretch myself um, and try to get into using more of those types of colors not like in changing my aesthetic how I design and create but on exercises like this just to kind of stretch myself and work with different colors sometimes and so that's why I bought this um this palette and I think it's really you know I think it's, I think the colors are very pretty um my part my least favorite is yellow I'm just not a yellow fan really but um like neon -y like that and stuff but she does beautiful work and the people who follow her that tag her on Instagram and you know YouTube and stuff they do beautiful paintings and things I'm not a painter I don't know how to I, I'm just not like that I don't know how to draw you know things and paint them it's just not my my thing I want it to be but that's just not where my strength and skill set is really so I went ahead and swatched all the colors and I just played around with just different colors just you know trying to whatever and um, I, I I'm struggling you guys I'm, I'm just gonna tell you um, I'm just struggling this is this is a very difficult page for me I'm, I'm just not drawn to a lot of the colors now I do love this uh, what does she call this one me look so I can make sure I'm giving proper credit here to the name it's water spirit I do really like water spirit that's in my wheelhouse. That's very Timmy, Seth Aptry looking. And I love this one here. I like the greens. I think they're very pretty. And the blues I like. I just, I don't know what to do with bright colors. I don't know, um, I don't know. They're just, it's just a weakness for me. That's all it is. And now I used to scrapbook back in the day in card making with, you know, primary colors and a lot of the um, things that were, you know, 25 something years ago when I first started scrapbooking or got back into it I should say when I had my son I you know worked with a lot of bright colors and primary and that was just kind of what was there and, and it's still colors you can use now it's just not my personal style and so I just wanted to stretch myself and play with the palette that I purchased and I will use it again more for sure especially those colors I pointed out to you that I really liked um you know, my favorites and I know that there are color combinations of mixing to tone them down a little bit maybe change the the tonal quality and the coolness of you know the coolness of the colors I I, I, I know that and I'm working on that there's a lot of people I follow on YouTube that are watercolor artists and my husband is one I mean he you know he um, he's just a man that guy is so talented so he's worked but with me on colors and stuff and Angie has too for sure and taking the Seth after class was a huge, I was a huge thing. So I'm learning and I think in time I'm going to gravitate more towards wanting to work with palettes and colors like this in my crafting. Now, you know, you're going to see me using some brighter colors like in maybe some spring and summer theme things or Christmas time, these types of greens and stuff. That's, that's awesome. But I just don't create projects with a lot of the bright, primary does that make sense you guys I'm not sure if I'm making sense anyway enough about that one so again we, I am in no way shape or form saying anything negative or shady about this I bought it I would encourage all of you to go buy it if you love to play with watercolors and stuff I have a lot of Jane Davenport stuff that are brighter colors because I like to stretch myself creatively so I probably will after that I shut this video down I probably will go ahead and come back on here and do a little delete and stuff just you know just I think it might maybe help tone down a little bit some of the colors so anyway so that's where I'm at with this it was just a great exercise and um I just thought it was a lot of fun and I know that my hands were probably in the way a lot I apologize for that my tabletop tripod I left upstairs so I'll have to bring remember to bring that back downstairs with me or out here anyway so you can kind of get an angle this way because I know like I said my hand plus with my fingers still being wrapped it's you know my I feel like my fingers like jutting out because it's hard to bend it right now but anyway a lot of fun so again the paints that I use for this example and I'll link them all below if I can find them all um, is was the starry colors and then here are the shades so we have blue gold red gold yellow gold champagne gold lights light gold in white gold and I really love this palette this is gonna be a fast favorite for sure or it is a fast favorite I just I love the, being able to accent the colors and stuff with it and then the vintage pastels from um, Prima 
this is probably my favorite now i do have a um oh what's it called is it the cotman pelt that i have there's another one i have but i don't know where it's at i think i i'm not sure where it is but these are the colors in this one so i really do love this this palette and then i showed you the jane davenport and then these ones here are just the samples you know or leftover tubes that steve had in some of his old art supplies and for the daniel smith ones uh it's the amethyst genuine and rose of ultramarine i love these and that's what you're seeing on this page with the exception of me using leftover of the mauve i think it was from the um prima palette and i also messed around with some of the reeves colors too in some of those olive green um rose red and red ochre and i think yellow ochre and then the pens i use which again I'll, I'll link everything below that i possibly can so to you i would like to not like a challenge like where i'm gonna it's um we have like respond to me or anything like that but i just want to encourage all of you um to go check out cc's youtube channel if you haven't before and i will link the a couple of the videos specifically that i'm talking about in reference to this example um but uh because she does a much better job of eloquently speaking about the thought process behind this probably than what I'm doing I'm sure and just give it a try even if you don't have watercolors you know just your you know your use acrylic paints or use the different you know, like the distress inks from Timmy and or you know um sprays that kind of stuff whatever it is you have if you don't have watercolors the point is just to have creative play and to doodle and to for exercise and creative exercise and this has been great because this is something that I've been able to do with you know my hand not being fully back to full use yet so I, I had a great time doing it and I hope that you like this kind of video from me I will be doing more stuff in here I'm probably going to keep this book just for watercolor stuff and um, between CC and Shada Campbell who I will link below I am learning to have more self esteem and not beat myself up so much with the sense of doodling and drawing um because i've been you know off and on for the last few years messing with that and you know some of the stuff i think looks okay i just get I'm, I'm a little timid to share with all of you because i i know i know that's not my skill set or my strength but i'm trying <laughs> and i just think it'd be fun to incorporate things like this into you know the projects that i do create so anyway i hope you enjoyed it comment below and let me know if you already follow cc she does a lot of drawing ones and she has a really awesome uh, crafting space in her home I love it and um, she's just very inspirational to me and I really enjoy listening to her and um, hopefully I was able to through CC inspire you to give this a try let me know you don't have to leave me a comment if you are bashful that way because I know some people like to email me instead or send me a message like on Instagram or whatever and that's totally fine whichever way it makes you feel more comfortable to communicate with me I'm totally fine with of course and I would love to see what you guys do so tag me you know just you can just just tag purple cottage crafts if you're on instagram um you know whatever and just let me know because i'd love to see what you're doing and watch your videos and look at your posts whether it be on your blog or whatever and help support all of you as you all do for me and i just really appreciate it so thank you for sticking with me on this video and i definitely will have more coming up so like this in this realm so i will see you all next time one last time just check the description box for all the supplies that i can find including this book so Enjoy. just wanted to share that real quick so thank you everybody for um um allowing me to share this experience with you and I will see you next time. Bye!